couple of months ago, I was given the original blueprints for Cleveland Municipal Stadium. They were dated September 1930. So these are the real thing. Cleveland Stadium opened in 1931, and the first event was a boxing match. And the stadium was host to many awesome events, such as the Beatles, where the fans invaded the field during the song Day Tripper. The stadium was also famous for the World Series of Rock concerts, which took place from 1974 to 1980. World-famous Cleveland radio station WMMS presented two to four World Series of Rock concerts each summer, each one being a game. Game one, game two, game three, etc. like the Baseball World Series. The events were general mission and featured such bands as Peter Frampton, Electric Light Orchestra, The Beach Boys, Crosby, Stills & Nash, The Rolling Stones, and the one I went to in 1979, Aerosmith, Ted Nugent, Journey, Thin Lizzy, ACDC, and the first show in the States ever for the Scorpions. In 1946, the Cleveland Browns were formed and coached by Paul Brown. With Brown and players like Marion Motley, Otto Graham, and the great Jim Brown, they won championships in 1946, 1947, 1948, 1949, 1950, 1954, 1955, and in 1964. My personal memories of the Browns began with the Brian Sipe Cardiac Kids era, then the Bernie Kozar Kevin Mack years, on up to the point when they moved in 1995. It was also the site of many frustrating losses like the drive, the fumble, and fiascos such as the Indians' 10 cent beer night. But what I feel the Cleveland Municipal Stadium is best known for is the Cleveland Browns. Browns football in the snow on natural turf with no logos on their helmets is what it was all about. It's our heritage. 